Hello, welcome to the Mythology Manifest. For today's video, I am going to wrap up my video surrounding characters from the stories of Theseus. I am going to be talking about a character from these myths who I find incredibly interesting for this video. She is the daughter of the Sun Titan, the sister of Circe, the aunt of Medea, the goddess of Crete, the mother of the Minotaur, and the queen of poisons. She is Pacify. I hope you enjoy it. So, Pacify was born after the Titanomachy, on an island named Thrinache. Her mother was called Perses, who was a very vain water nymph, who was obsessed with gaining status, fame and fortune. For a very minor goddess, Perses had very large ambitions. And eventually, Perses managed to seduce the sun titan, Helios, and she fell pregnant by him. When she found this out, she told him he had to marry her or she wouldn't let him see the child. I think this is the very definition of let him knock you up so you can lock him down. She said she didn't care if he cheated on her as long as she had the title of wife of Helios, which was basically the title of queen of the sun. Helios agreed and together they had multiple children. I'm not sure of the exact order in which they were, they were born, but their names were Circe, Aetes, Perses and Pacify. The name Pacify meant all shining and this is exactly what she did. She was a radiant beauty, almost a literal sunbeam, and she was definitely the best looking of her siblings. However, her appearance was the only thing nice about her. I believe the best quote to describe Pacify is from Angelica Hope, who said, appearances can be deceiving, but the true colours of the soul remain. So yes, Pacify may have looked celestial, but she was definitely her mother's daughter with an ugly soul. She was power, power and status obsessed. She also had her father's ruthlessness, meaning she wouldn't let anyone stand in her way of social greatness. Like her siblings, Pacify discovered she was a witch quite early, and to avoid being banished like her sister Circe, Pacify got married to a mortal king of Crete called Minos, who was also the son of Zeus. I originally found it a bit odd that Pacify married a mortal, as that was very below her status in her mind, even as a minor goddess or a nymph. However, if you think about it, there is method to her madness. Being a mi minor goddess, Pacify would never have married any of the major gods, so would have no power. So instead, she married the son of a major god, who was also a king, meaning she would have power over mortals in Crete. She had a very nefarious mind, which is why I like to refer to her as the nefarious nymph. This is without even mentioning the fact that she got a massive wedding out of it, where all of the gods were invited, and that meant that they knew her name, which she was very happy about. Minos and Pacify were married for a few years and they had many children together. Their names were Androgeus, Akakalis, Deucalion, Ariadne, Glaucus, Xenodice, Cotreus and Phaedra. Her favourite was her eldest son, Androgeus, and she was devastated when the king of Athens, called Aegeus, killed him, and she swore that one day she would get revenge on him. Now, before she was able to get revenge, Pacify wanted the best of everything, and she also wanted everything to be original, and so she trapped the best inventor of, in the world in the Cretan palace, and his name was Daedalus. Pacify said that if he didn't make her original and beautiful things, she wouldn't hurt him but his son, Icarus, which is where she gets her very negative reputation from. She was very cold-hearted and wasn't afraid to threaten anyone. Now, one day, her husband Minos offended the gods, as many kings did in mythology. So Poseidon, the god of the sea, created a white bull from the sea film and told Minos he should sacrifice the bull as an apology. And Pacify's father, Helios, told her to make sure her husband did so. But when Pacify tried to get Minos to sacrifice the bull, he told her it was too beautiful to kill and it was his favourite animal in the world. And I think in Pacify's head, she probably thought something along the lines of, Oh dear, I've married an insane man. Who has any strong opinions on bulls? But she left her husband to it. So really, Pacify was innocent, and yet she was still punished. I covered this in my video on Theseus and the Minotaur, so I needn't go over it in detail again. But basically, she was cursed to fall in love with a bull and fell pregnant by it. And eventually, she gave birth to a half-man, half-bull, which she named Asterion, who became known as the Minotaur, and this was all because of her husband's blasphemy. She was wrongfully punished in my mind, as it was Minos that committed the crime. Anyway, 
After the birth of the Minotaur, she was shunned and became a social pariah, the worst punishment for someone as desperate as fame as she was. She was ignored by everyone, including her staff, and Minos literally pacified her, keeping her away from other people, and so she became more bitter inside, which I think is quite understandable. She even grew to hate Minos, which is again very understandable, considering he ruined her life, then hid her away because he was ashamed of her. She then forced Daedalus to create a labyrinth for the Minotaur, and put the Minotaur in there. And then she got her revenge on the King of Athens, by demanding that he give 13 of his people to Crete for her son to eat. Eventually the, Minos was kill the Minotaur was killed, and Ariadne left Crete, and Pacify was devastated, because that meant she had lost everything. Her revenge, her son, her daughter, and her fame. Even Daedalus and Icarus escaped her. And, to top it all off, Minos was cheating on her with various different women. This filled her with rage because she was a golden goddess and mortals were stealing her husband as she was cast aside. So, Pacify put her witchcraft to use and made potions which she put into Minos's drinks. This was a poison, but it wasn't a poisonous to him. It was a poison that ran into the women women Minos cheated on her with whenever they were together committing adultery. These women then died, and this was how Pacify became known as the Queen of Poisons. Eventually, on a hunt for Daedalus, Minos was killed, and in all honesty, no one knows what happened to Pacify after that. I would love to know what did happen to her after his death, as I am in the process of writing a book about her life, and I am struggling with the ending. Please let me know what you think happened to the Poisoned Queen after her husband's death, either in the comments or on Twitter, which is there is a link to in the description below. That concludes my myths about Theseus and his surrounding characters. I hope you've enjoyed them. If you enjoyed this video and found it informative, please like, comment or subscribe, or follow my channel on Twitter via the description below. I do still have an open poll on my Twitter on whether you would like me to stick with Greek myths on my channel or move on to Roman, Norse or Egyptian, so please vote on there or let me know in the comments. Let's keep classics alive. I will see you next time on the Mythology Manifest.